Okay, so let's have an example regarding uh, self-bias configuration. So determine the following uh, parameters for the given circuit. So start tayo sa letter A. So VGS equals VG minus VS. Okay, so since yung uh, gate resistor natin is in-neglect muna natin yung, uh, yung uh, effect niya sa circuit, gagawin muna natin itong 0 ohm. Tanggalin muna natin yung 1 mega ohm. So grounded si gate, magiging uh, 0 volt. No? 0 minus Vs, which is ito, no? or yung uh, voltage across the source resistor. So ID, RS. So yung ID is equals din sa source current natin. VGS equals negative ID times 1 kilo. Okay. So, obviously, hindi pa natin makukuha yung, uh, yung uh, VGS. No? It's because wala pa tayong drain current. So, ang gagamitin natin is yung uh, Shockless equation. So, ID equals, uh, didiretso ko na, no? ID equals IDSS 8 milliampere times 1 minus VGS. So, ilalagay natin yung buong expression na to. So, minus 1,000 ID over negative 6 squared. So, simplify natin. Uh, magiging quadratic to, no, actually. 8 milliampere, 1 minus 1,000 over 6 ID squared. So, simplify natin. So, magiging 8 milliampere to. 1 minus 1,000 over 3 ID plus 1,000 squared divided by 36 so 2, 5 1, 2, 3, 4 divided by 9 square okay so i-distribute natin yung 8 milliampere 8 milliampere 8 thirds okay but naging 8 thirds because 8 milliampere is uh, 8 times 10 to the negative 3 no and then mayroong uh, tatlong uh, uh, zero dito so magka-cancel lang yung 3 sa exponent plus 2,000 over 9 ID squared. Okay, uh, wag kalilimutan, meron pa tayong ID sa left side of the equation. Baka ang gawin nyo is ito lang yung equate nyo sa 0. Okay, meron pang ID sa left side of the equation. So, isasama natin. To transpose natin, 8 milliampere minus 11 third ID plus 2,000 over 9 ID squared. So, ito yung solve natin using quadratic uh, equation. Okay, uh, by the way, baka gumamit kayo ng shift solve dito. No? Yung shift solve, uh, ulitin ko, is uh, designed only for linear equation. Uh, for degree greater than 1, uh, hindi nyo nagagamitin yung uh, shift solve. Ang gagamitin nyo na is yung uh, mode 5, 3 sa Casio. Hindi ko lang sure sa ibang uh, calculator kung ano yung uh, uh, yung uh, yung shortcut doon no? okay so solve natin no, using uh, mode 5 3 2000 over 9 minus 11 over 3 8 milliampere so yung isang sagot niya is id1 equals 0 0.0139 ampere or gawin, gawin nating a uh, milliampere it's because sa uh, uh, naka milliampere yung mga current natin dito. Eh. So, gawin natin milliampere for 13.9 milliampere. And then, yung isang sagot is 2.58 or 2.6 milliampere. Okay. So, ano yung uh, ano yung magiging uh, sagot natin for a uh, drain current? Ay, is it uh, 13.9 milliampere ba or 2.6 milliampere? Okay, analyze natin. 
yung uh, maximum current daw ng JFET na kaya niyang i- na ilabas no. Sabihin niyo yun yung parang yun yung maximum na or saturated na current na kaya niya lang ilabas. Ang uh, given is 8 milliampere. Okay, so ibig sabihin uh, dapat ito lang yung maximum natin. So behind this uh, hindi na po pwede. So obviously ang sagot natin dapat is 2.6 milliampere. Hindi ito. Okay? So ang isang point ko pa no, na gustong i na gusto ko sabihin sa inyo na uh, kung bakit uh, ko pinapagamit yung quadratic uh, maliban sa shift solve it's because sa shift solve uh, isang root lang yung pwedeng niyang ibigay no. Uh, what if halimbawa uh, ginamit natin shift solve dito sa equation. Ang binigay niya is 13.9 milliampere no. Mali na kayo doon kasi um, maximum eh yung 8 milliampere which is yung 13.9 above pa sa 8 milliampere no? hindi na po pwede yun okay, so mali na kayo dun kung yun yung, uh, yung kung yun yung sagot nyo so dapat yung uh, quadratic ang gagamitin nyo okay, so in this case uh, 2.6 milliampere yung gagamitin nating uh, uh, Q point ng drain current or yung operating uh, uh, drain current so balik tayo sa VGS yung VGS natin is negative 1,000 times 2.6 milliampere. So, ang sagot natin dito is negative 2.6 volt. Okay. So, next. Uh, ano pa ba yung tinatanong dito sa letter B? Letter B is yung, uh, uh, yung drain current. So, ito na yung sagot natin for letter B. 2.6 milliampere. Okay, next. Sa VDS tayo. Okay, so, ang gagamitin nating loop is yung uh, drain to source. So, start tayo kay VDD. 20. Dito ko na muna ilagay para makita nyo pati yung circuit. So, 20 minus yung uh, drop across the drain resistor. 3.3 kilo ohm. Times yung drain current natin is 2.6 milliampere. Minus VDS. Minus 1 kilo ohm times 2.6 milliampere equals 0. So, solving for uh, VDS. So, dito pwede na kayong gumamit ng shift solve no, para madali. 20 minus 3.3 kilo ohm times 2.6 milliampere minus VDS minus 1 kilo ohm times 2.6 milliampere equals 0 chip solve 8.82 volt okay next oh, ito mga madadali na to mga potential voltage na lang yung tinatanong so letter D VS ang VS natin ay I think nakuha na natin ata Uh, yun, uh, negative 2.6 na rin. No? It's because ang uh, VGS is equal sa VG minus VS. Grounded naman si gate. So, yung VS natin is just equals to negative VGS or 2.6 volt. Okay. So, VG is uh, 0 volt. And last but not the least, VD So, kukunin natin yan sa VDS. Equals 8.82 Equals VD minus VS. Yung VS natin is 2.6 So, solving for uh, VD 8.82 plus 2.6 Equals 8.82 plus 2.6 volt 11.42 volt Okay, so yun lang Ang medyo complicated lang dito is yung uh, pagkuha ng uh, drain current kasi mag-simplify uh, pa kayo But uh, I hope na-gets na nyo yung point na kung bakit uh, 2.6 mA yung sagot natin It's because ito lang yung maximum na kayang ilabas ni transistor eh, ni JFET no, primarily Um max max uh, id of jfet 